93.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. Perhaps one of the worst impressions you could make on a first date would be not showing up to the designated place where you were supposed to meet your date. No, that's and not because, you know, you were late or anything else, but just because you couldn't find it. Mm. Ah. That's what happened with Kevin, who is on the phone with us today. And actually, Kevin, I identify with your story. He emailed us. He met a girl named Olivia. Actually couldn't find the restaurant that they were supposed to meet at. Mm. That happens to me all the time, Kevin, so don't feel too bad, but mostly just because I don't pay attention to what people are saying to me, and then by the time I'm like on my way, I'm like, oh, crap, where were we supposed to meet? <laughs> and then I don't show up. So thank you for joining us, Kevin. Appreciate your email. Thanks, guys. Hey, Brooke. Hey, Dribble. Now, you actually didn't make it to dinner on your first date because you couldn't find the restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping it wasn't your suggestion to go to this restaurant. <laughs> No, no. She just gave me the name of the of the place uh-huh. and didn't give me an address, so I had to, uh, I guess my GPS kind of freaked out and kind of just couldn't decide between which restaurant it was. Yeah, that happens to me all the time. It's yeah. usually the user's fault and not the GPS, but I blame <laughs> my GPS nonstop. I'm like, oh, stupid thing, took me completely down the wrong street. <laughs> so are you normally bad with directions and finding places? Does this happen to you a lot, or is this kind of like a one-time weird thing? I'm not very good with direction. I barely know where I am anyway, all the time. So how late were you to the date? Well, she actually ended up calling me about 25 minutes after we were supposed to meet. Why wouldn't you call her and tell her, hey, I'm lost, where are you? Well, you don't want to appear like the guy who can't find things and just, you know. Were you in contact with her, though, at least? Like, you don't have to say, I can't find the restaurant, I'm a dumbass. You can be like, uh, hey, I'm on my way, just running a little late. Did you at least do that? I sent a text saying that, but that, you know, that only yeah. gets you 10 or 15 minutes. Right, and then yeah. she finally called you, and how'd that conversation go? I admitted that I was a little turned around, and she asked where I was, and I told the location, and I told her the cross streets, and it was like a block or two from her apartment. So she said, I know where you are, I'll come meet you, and we'll go back to my place for a drink. Well, that okay. was quick. Wow. You, Nicely <laughs> you done. You didn't plan this whole time? Wow. Yeah. Either, either you're a really creepy stalker and you already knew where her apartment was, <laughs> this is a genius way to get up there, wow. or you just got super lucky by being right outside of her apartment. Yeah, I was. I thought, perfect, it's, you know, super lucky, it's, it's great, and then uh, she met me, and we went up and had a few beers, and, and then it just got a little odd. How was the conversation when you got up there in the beginning? It was nice. She was really sweet, and she had a, a nice place, in which I, you know, I, I love seeing how people live. So it was, it was really great. And then we were only there for like twenty minutes, and she got a text saying that her roommate was coming home, mm-hmm. and that I guess her roommate had just broken up with her boyfriend. Okay. And okay. she needed to kind of console her, and so it was one quick drink, and then she kind of mm-hmm. ushered me out. Okay, yeah. Kevin, do you feel like that's legit? Yeah. I don't know. You don't want to assume someone's lying to you that quickly. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. But that kind of feels like that's odd to me. Yeah. It seems like interesting timing. Very you kind of blew it mm-hmm. and didn't show up for dinner. She had to come meet you, threw you a pity date by being like, yeah, come up to my place, we'll have a beer. <laughs> and then all of a sudden she receives a text from her I roommate who just got through a breakup and she has to ask you to leave. It yeah. seems... Kind of. She didn't have to invite him to her, her apartment, though. I mean, yeah, because it seems like there's a couple of things going on. It's like it, it, if she didn't want to see me at all, she could have easily said, you know, right. I, I have something else to do. You know, she brought me up for a drink, so it was kind of like I was getting two sides of a different story. So when you I, finally left, did you guys make plans to see each other again? No. And I texted her three times after the date, and I haven't heard from her at all. No, nothing. No. What was the last thing you guys said to each other? Um. Uh, I think I said I'll catch you soon. <laughs> that's that's really romantic. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I don't know how she didn't fall head over heels on the for that. Yeah. that catch is, you on the flip side, that is buddy. Sweet. And then you took off. So you haven't heard anything from her. You've tried to text her three times and not a word back. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I just I want to find out whether it was me that did something wrong. I, I don't. You know, I don't date much. I, I work with computers and and I don't talk to people that much. So I want to make sure <laughs> if, if it's something. I did, mm. and I want to know what it is, just so I can like fix it the next time or figure out if there's something I should or shouldn't be doing. I, well, yeah, just... you should make sure you know where the restaurant is and show up on time. <laughs> we'll tell you that right now. And the whole thing's really a bummer, because in the short time we were together, she seemed really cool and really nice, and she's really pretty, so I, I thought I had everything going. But All right, well, we'll play a song, come back, get her on the phone, and get your second date update, okay? That'd be great, thanks. Hang on. 
Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings. Second date update. All right, here we go. Kevin is on the phone with us. He wants us to call a girl named Olivia. They had a pretty terrible first date. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Kevin didn't even show up to dinner because he couldn't find the restaurant. She finally had to call him to see where he was. He was actually close to her place, so she said, fine, I'll come meet you. They went up to her place, had a couple beers before. She said she got a text message from her roommate who had just broken up with her boyfriend and she needed to talk, so Kevin had to leave. She basically kicked Kevin out. <laughs> Are you about ready to give her a call? Yeah. Now, if you find out that she lied about that text message and wanted you gone and was maybe upset because you didn't show up for dinner and she had to come meet you, what are you going to try to say to her in order to get a second date? Because you want to get another date with her, right? That's why yeah, we're doing I this? Do. Okay. So what are you going to say to her? Uh, I guess maybe assure her that I could um, never do that again and I'll make sure I know exactly where the restaurant is. For, for the rest of our dates. Okay. Yeah. And you said, I mean, you said you haven't been on a date or many dates because you spend a lot of time in front of your computer. Yeah. I don't meet that many people in person, so I, I do a lot of dating websites. Were you awkward when you were at her apartment just the entire time anyway? I try not to be. <laughs> You're you don't, sweet, Kevin. You don't sound very awkward on the phone yeah, right now. You sound you know, articulate. So, you know, unless you were doing something really strange. <laughs> yeah. But I, I'm, I'm going to guess it's probably the fact that you didn't show up for dinner. Mm -hmm. oh, I would no. think that would make anybody angry. So yeah. I'm about to dial it right now. Are you ready to go? Yeah. All right, man. Hang on. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Olivia? Uh, yeah, this is her. Hey, Olivia, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. Hello. How's it going? Good, I'm sorry, who are you from? Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning, the radio show. Am I disturbing you at work or something? You sound... Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm... I don't mean to be rude. Why I'm... No, that... Is this like a promotion to buy something? It is not a promotion to buy something. <laughs> I'm actually calling you because a listener of ours sent us an email about you, and he wanted us to call you. Okay. Uh, I'll explain. His name is Kevin. You and him recently went out on a date. You probably remember <laughs> Kevin because he couldn't find the restaurant you were supposed to go to, and you ended up going back to your place and just having a few beers. Okay. Right. Okay, well, Kevin really liked you and is wondering why... You're not calling him back. Is there something that Kevin did on your date to make you not want to see him again? You know, I just don't really feel like it's something to talk about. And, yeah. Okay, but is it more than him not being able to find the restaurant? No, that was super irritating. And, like, what grown man can't find a freaking restaurant? But, <laughs> yeah. no, that's not the issue. That's not the issue. No. Is Kay. he... Uh, is this some... Uh, did he just, like, write an email and you guys are calling me and, like, Wasting my day, or yep, that's pretty much exactly what happened. <laughs> and I know, I know that you're at work and you sound busy, yeah, he, and I don't want you to. Just, what's that? I just want to know, like, with the premise of this, so that way I know if I need to change my phone number. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no, we won't be calling you ever again after this. I, I'd appreciate you though hanging on because it's a segment we do on our show called the Second Date Update. Basically, we want to tell Kevin what he did wrong on your date so he can learn not to do it again on other dates. It sounds like you don't want to see him again. Can you tell us what the main issue is? What did he do? He, um, I went to the kitchen to make us a drink, and when I came out, he wasn't in the living room where I left him, and where he was coming out from did not seem like the bathroom, and he seemed really weird about it. Like, he just seemed weird, and then I went, I went back. It, it just got really awkward. It's not that big of an apartment. So it's not that hard to find the bathroom, mm -hmm. and my door to my bedroom was ajar. Mm. You think he went in your room? I think he stole a pair of my freaking panties. What? what? For and real? I do not want him anywhere near me. <laughs> Hold up. Okay, <laughs> I was you? just gonna say that he went into your room, and that's weird. But you think that he stole a pair of your underwear? I think he couldn't find a restaurant, but he could find my freaking underwear drawer. That's <laughs> okay, <laughs> Olivia, that's a like that's a, that's a big claim. Are you sure you're not just imagining something? Why would you think that he would do that? <sighs> he was just so weird, and it just it was like awkward from the beginning, and I mm -hmm. felt like I'd made a bad decision, even when I was letting him into my apartment, and it just got worse. And then when he wasn't in the living room, like why didn't he just say, "Hey, can I please use your bathroom?" Like have right. a common courtesy if you're a stranger. 
And then are you just assuming that he stole your underwear? Like, how do you, are you missing My underwear? My was a jar. Yeah. I, you could have possibly left that there, right? Yeah, but if you have a gut feeling about something. And I don't remember hearing the toilet run. Like, you know how after you pee and you flush, it kind of like runs for a little bit to fill yeah. back up? Yeah. Okay. I don't remember hearing that. Are you missing underwear? I have like... Okay, so you don't know. I know. I know every single one of my underwear. They're Are all cataloged and charted. Yeah, I know when I'm missing a pair. I wouldn't know either. So you don't, you don't really know. You don't have any proof that he took your underwear, but that's just what you're thinking. Yeah, I think he's really weird, and he creeped me out, and the freak flag went off, and I yeah. asked him to leave my apartment. You don't want to ask him if he did take your underwear? Uh, oh, sorry, my boss is giving me a weird look. I'll be right there. Okay, what was your question? You don't want to ask him if he did take your underwear? No. <laughs> I don't ever want to sure? talk to this guy again. Oh, that's a shame because, <laughs> Olivia, he's actually on the other line. And I would love to find out. Kevin, <laughs> did you steal Olivia's underwear? I would never steal anyone's underwear, let alone, like, on a first date. <laughs> I was using the bathroom. Oh, really? You were using the bathroom? Yeah, you, you, just, uh, you didn't have to uh, pee and didn't wash your hands. You were just in there to check yourself out. And you're in here in the living room. No, I had to pee quickly. I was in a car driving around for 25 <laughs> minutes straight looking for the restaurant. Honestly, I don't care if you had to pee and you peed. I don't care. You're creepy, and I don't ever want to go out with you again. Okay, well, you don't know for sure that he stole your underwear, Olivia. Like you could be just making that up. Even if he didn't steal my underwear, the fact that my first instinct was that he did mm -hmm. makes me believe that this is not husband material. Like, this is not yeah. a good idea. You never what know, there's lots it? of weddings that have started oh, off what, like that. What was, it, what was it about him that was so creepy? Lack of timeliness, lack of eye contact, awkward breathing. <laughs> you just described, like, most men. <laughs> Olivia, look, I, I, I am truly sorry <laughs> if you felt that was creepy, but I... Absolutely did not take your underwear. I wasn't even in your bedroom. Please, just give me another chance. I'm sorry. I just really can't deal with this right now. And no, it's just you were too creepy. I have a job to keep, so good luck. All right. Oh. <laughs> Kevin, did you take oh. Olivia's underwear? No. Be honest. No. Kevin, are you creepy? <laughs> what is so creepy about you? I, I, I don't know. I that Wow. That's nothing I can fix. Kevin, are you... All right, look. Look, there's one of two things here. Either you are a creep uh, and you stole her underwear, or Olivia's crazy. Yeah. And she's the weird one who just assumes that by you going to her bathroom, you're stealing her underwear. What is it? I don't... I was really embarrassed for not finding the restaurant, so maybe mm -hmm. I was acting weird and strange, but I didn't take her underwear, so that that is crazy. It's not like he's uh, going to admit to us anyway. Yeah. No, probably Kevin. wearing them right now, Kevin, for all we know. Kevin, Kevin are you I'm wearing Olivia's underwear? No. You guys, don't beat up on him. If he stole them, why would he call us for because the answer? Because crazy people do crazier things. Yeah, maybe she's crazy. I don't think so. so I believe her gut instinct. I think you're crazy. If she had such a gut instinct, why would she invite him into her apartment? I well, feel bad for him. Yeah, Kevin. Hey, look. I didn't get to ask her if she wanted a second date with you. Oh. Oh, you wow. know, normally I do that. <laughs> you know what? How about this? Uh, if you want a date with Kevin, text us 78592. <laughs> he might be an underwear thief, but uh, I'll pay for you to go out with him. I am not an underwear thief. You guys could go to Victoria's <laughs> Secret together. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Broken Jubal in the morning. At GG Listen. I knew the people that listened to our show were pretty desperate, but I had no idea <laughs> how desperate they were until after this second date oh update that gosh. we just played. It's Brooke and Jubal in the morning. I'm moving 92.5. Why do I say that? Well, Kevin wanted us to call this girl named Olivia. We got her on the phone. She wasn't calling him back after their date. She accused him of stealing her underwear. That's yeah. a big accusation. She has no proof. That he stole the underwear. No. But he doesn't really make a good argument that he didn't steal the underwear. So we don't know who's crazy here. Either she's just automatically <laughs> thinking that a guy's going to steal her underwear or he's an underwear thief. I said at the end of the second date update, this is something that I never do. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, if you want a date with Kevin, text us. 78592. We'll give you a date with a possible underwear thief. All right? That's usually not a ringing endorsement for a guy. Mm -hmm. no. For a lot of ladies. A computer guy that doesn't date very much, that couldn't use his GPS, is a possible <laughs> underwear stealer. Yes, who might steal your underwear. But 
so many texts in at 78592. Hey, he can steal my undies anytime. Yeah, hey. <laughs> Another one that says, I'll go on a date with Kevin. Sounds like he needs a chance to redeem himself. Okay. Dating can really blow sometimes. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, the guy might be an underwear thief. We don't know. Another one says, he can date me. I don't wear underwear, so it's fine. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't get it. And this is why we always complain. I can never find a good man. But right? this you is know? proof for you, Brooke. When Brooke is always shocked how I get chicks. I'm like, guys can do this, yeah. and they can get dates. If you're like- sitting there single right now, mm-hmm. <laughs> and you want to be in a relationship, and you're wondering why you can't find somebody, think about this second date up. All right? <laughs> a possible underwear thief can get a lot of people interested in him, and you can't get a date. What are you doing wrong? What's happening? It's like- <laughs> cares about red flags anymore. Re-examine no, some things in your life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we don't, you know, we don't know if he stole it. But it's true. And but... Uh, we, I, I feel like she's jumping to conclusions. He might have been weird. No, but, but she I had feel a... like I feel like she's just like, no, yeah. it's, yeah. it's weird. Okay, if you go on a date with someone that's weird, uh, that's, that's kind of strange, it's okay to be like, all right, they're creepy. I don't want to yeah. deal with them. But just to go to the place that he stole my underwear with no proof, mm-hmm. kind of weird. With no yeah, proof. Yeah, but he... the thing is, is that she went and specifically said, even if he didn't steal my underwear, that that was my immediate reaction to him using my restroom is probably a problem. I just think yeah. that okay, it's not going to work out between. What kind of, of girl has that immediate reaction? A yeah. girl? Where it's just like, oh my God, he stole my underwear. <laughs> it's he, kind of, he might have been in my room. Yeah. Stole my underwear. It's a weird response by her, and he's oh, a weird dude. dude. It obviously just didn't work out. Yeah. But yeah. looks like we're going to find him yeah. a date no matter what. Someone yeah. wants to be underwear bandit buddies with him. <laughs> yeah. Got to find him friendship, people, too. Right? Yeah. He's got <laughs> friends all over the place. Somebody if you want a second date update, all you have to do is email us, brookandjubal at moving925.com. We will call the person who didn't call you back.